Hello everyone, this is the video walkthrough for tutorial 3.2 uh, part modeling tutorial bracket. So in tutorial 3.2 we are going to make a bracket. Uh, it's going to be made out of ABS. This is a short animation that they have you make in the following tutorial. Uh, I'm just playing it so you guys can see what we're going to be making. And uh, it's going to use a lot of different tools that you guys haven't used yet before. So let's get started. A file, new part, and uh, you want to make sure you're in inches, pounds, and seconds, and uh, you always want to make sure that you're in ANSI. And we're going to get started by uh, doing an extrude boss base in the front plane. And we are going to use a center rectangle, and it's very important that you use a center rectangle for this because you want the origin to be directly in the center of this rectangle. And the top is going to be 6 inches, the right is going to be 4 inches, and we are going to extrude that to a thickness of a quarter inch. Okay, so um, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add the shelf here, and in order to do that we have to go to reference geometry and plane, and we have to add a plane, and we're actually going to draw that shelf on the plane. So our first reference is going to be the um, top surface here and we're going to have to flip the direction because if you see on my screen that the arrow is pointing up so the plane's going off the part we need the plane to go into the part so I'm going to click flip and I'm going to set the distance to one and a quarter inches now this plane it really doesn't matter that it's so small Honestly, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, you could have it way off to the side here. It doesn't matter. Uh, but just for simplicity, uh, we might as well just put it right there. It might be easier mentally for you guys to visualize what we're doing. So for the shelf, I'm going to extrude boss base. I'm going to select plane one if it's not already selected. I'm going to go to my top view and I uh, have my plane dragged out here and so when I went to my top view, the plane showed up in the center of the screen. Now, if my plane was smaller and I went to the top view, this goes to the center. Well, it's not very convenient considering the shelf is going to be very long and down towards the bottom. So if you do have your plane dragged out, then um, it'll be easier to to see what you're drawing. Another option is you can right click and you can go to zoom pan rotate and you can go to pan and you can just pan it to the back. So to get started on the shelf what I'm going to do, uh, this is on page 94 now, uh, I'm going to get started by drawing a center line. So I'm going to draw a center line from the midpoint of the back of the shelf and then I'm going to take an object line and I'm going to click hold and then I'm going to uh, release I'm going to go to tangent arc and I'm going to click on the endpoint and then I'm going to click on uh, the center line what I'm going to do next is I'm going to mirror these lines over the center line. Now it's very important that you mirror them and, and that you don't just draw them. Because mirroring is the easiest, most efficient way to do this. So entities to mirror. Mirror about. Make sure copy is checked. If copy is not checked, then these ones here will disappear. Okay, and now we have a pair of butt cheeks. So uh, what we need to do now is we need to make it a chin. I guess that could look like a chin. It kind of looks like my chin. Uh, so I'm going to hold shift, I'm going to select the arcs, both arcs, and I'm going to set them concentric, and so now they look like one solid arc, but they're not, they're still two arcs. Alright, and then uh, I'm going to add a line to the back here to close off the shape, close off the shelf, and then it's time to do some smart dimensioning. When you do the smart dimensioning, it's very important that... Uh, you select this line here for your smart dimension so that's going to be five inches the distance from the shelf 
this line here that we just mentioned to the center of these arcs is going to be 6.25 and a lot of students accidentally dimension that 6.25 from the back of the shelf it's very important that you make sure that you dimension it from uh, the, the back of the shelf which is what I just said but uh, the back of the part is where people usually dimension it from you want to dimension it from the back of the shelf which is right here it's very important otherwise you're going to be off by what a quarter of an inch going to smart dimension this to be a radius of 0.75 three quarters of an inch okay and we are fully defined so I'm going to go to the purple arrow and during this extrude I want to see which direction is going to extrude so I'm turning my shape when I extrude this um, I want to extrude it downward so it's extruding upward currently so I'm going to click this to flip it so that it goes down Okay, or you can just click this button over here, it's up to you. And uh, I'm going to change that to a quarter inch. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little dimple down here at the bottom, but because of this plane, I don't like having that plane there, I'm going to hide this plane. I'm not deleting the plane, you can't delete the plane without causing problems, but you can hide it. So I'm going to go back to my top view. I'm going to do an extrude boss base. I'm going to select the surface, the top surface of the shelf, my circle tool. I'm going to hover over the curve, the edge of the curve. And when you do that, then the center point pops up, center point of that arc. And then you can snap to the center point. This is one inch. And we're fully defined. And that extrudes upward very little um, it extrudes upward 0.1875 which I think is 3 16ths of an inch but I'm not sure let's see yeah it is 3 16ths of an inch cool whoops something went wrong though. Um, bum, 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 bum. That just looks too big to me. Maybe it's not though, but I'm just double checking my numbers here. Point one eight seven five. Yep. Okay. Well, it, it says it's the right size, so it sure doesn't look like the right size. Um. That's because it's not. Okay. So it needs to be um, five hundredths. So point zero five. That's what it should be. There we go. All right. That looks better. Okay. So now I have that little dimple drawn. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rib. And this rib is going to be right in the center of the part. And this starts on page 100. It's very important that you take a peek at figure 3.75 on page 100 so I'm going to do an extrude boss base and I'm going to select the right plane which goes right through the center of my part so when I draw on that right plane I'll be drawing actually right there on the center uh, figure 3.7 it has you draw one single line and it is extremely important that when you draw this line that you do not snap to the midpoint. Okay, do not snap to the midpoint. There's the midpoint. Do not snap to that midpoint. Big X there. For those of you that don't have on headphones, shame on you. Hopefully you understand that this means do not snap to the midpoint. Okay, same thing over here. All right, so then you need to smart dimension it. So I'm going to do smart dimension. Select the end point. You're going to select this face of the shelf not the back but the front face there of the back of the shelf and that dimension is two and a half inches this dimension is one inch and it is extremely important that you snap to this edge and that you snap to this edge this edge and this edge this edge and this edge very important so um, then the next thing that we do is um, Uh, 
actually, you know what? Those are the wrong dimensions. My bad. Sorry. Um, this one should be 5.5, and this one should be 2. Okay, but it's very important that you don't snap to those midpoints, and it's very important that you dimension to and from the right lines. Okay, now we just need to close off this rib here, this shape, and we're going to do that by just drawing in two more lines and just snapping them endpoint to endpoint. Okay, so it's very important now that you got these two lines. If you don't have those two lines, you're going to have trouble. All right, so um, I'm going to go to the purple arrow, and now we're at Extrude Boss and the thickness for this rib needs to be 0.1875 instead of doing blind we're going to do mid plane and I'm going to change the way we see the shape right now so you can see how this looks so this line here is on center because that's on the right plane if we do a blind extrude it's going to put the rib off center a 3 16 of an inch however if we change from blind to mid plane then the extrusion is split in half, so we have 3.30 seconds on the left and 3.30 seconds on the right. And then now it's, it's on center, so it's very important that you change to mid-plane. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to do the two smaller ribs. One we're going to draw, and the other one we're just going to mirror. So I'm going to change to my right view. Still need to do reference geometry plane. First reference is going to be my right plane, and it is going to be one inch off of the right plane and I'll turn my view so you guys can see what that looks like I'm one inch off of the plane right plane green check mark okay so uh, let's see um, for this rib we're gonna do it a little bit differently uh, we're going to do an extrude boss base no we're not we're going to do a uh, where is it rib and select a plane we're going to take a line we're going to draw it make sure you do not snap to the midpoints okay there's the midpoint do not snap to the midpoints um, and this is where I got that two and one inch dimension from that's what these are supposed to be so you'll if you didn't notice I clicked on the endpoints it's very important that you click on the endpoints if you click on the line itself you're going to get a dimension that looks like that and then if you click on a line here you're actually going to get an angular dimension okay so that is all you need to draw for that for this rib I'm going to hit the purple arrow I'm going to change slightly um, you know I'm going to change it so I can see this from the bottom there I think that'll make this easier for you guys uh, so I want to do a both sides and I want to change the extrusion direction to in towards the part. Oops, downward. Flip material side. There we go. Okay, flip material side. You want that arrow pointing into the corner, and you want it split down the middle, not one side or the other. And uh, green check mark. Okay, so there's our rib. Um, I think that rib was the wrong wrong thickness. Should be uh, three sixteenths of it, three sixteenths of an inch as well. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to hide this plane because we don't need it. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to hide it. I'm going to go to mirror, mirror face plane. I'm going to mirror over the right plane, and features to mirror is going to be rib one. Green check mark. There we go. So now we have both or all three ribs done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to extrude cut a hole through here. And the reason why we didn't extrude cut this hole when we did this original dimple, um, I do not know, but it's just how they do it. Um, so I am going to smart dimension this to 0.5. And I'm going to extrude cut that through all. Okay. And then I'm going to put a hole in the back. And I'm going to do that by extrude cutting. Now, I'm placing the circle over here, the hole over here, the circle over here, 
in this corner in particular for a reason and that reason is because when I make my 2D drawing of the shelf, when I do model items, it will import these dimensions in on this circle, which is these dimensions then will be in the correct spot on that 2D drawing. If I put the circle in this corner, did the 2D drawings, model items, then the dimensions would pop up in this corner, which would be the incorrect corner to have those dimensions in. Uh, it's not doesn't meet the standard so keep that in mind when you're dimensioning this kind of stuff uh, to make sure that you put it in a good spot okay and that's point uh, 375 3 eighths of an inch fully defined so purple arrow and uh, just go through all green check mark now I'm going to do a linear pattern and my direction one I'm going to select this top line I'm going to change the number of instances to two. I'm going to flip the direction. You can see this over here, the circles go in the wrong direction. The distance between the circles is five, maybe? Yeah, five. And then um, direction two, I'm going to select a vertical line. I want to make sure we're going down. And uh, we want two circles and you'll see there's a circle here and a circle here so we have four total now and the distance here should be three maybe is it three let's see yep three all right so um then i'm going to hit the green check mark all right and uh, the last thing we have to do then is material right click edit material minimize the steel expand the plastics and select ABS apply and close okay cool so that is how you make the shelf